James Lannis, thank you for joining me at the tasting table today. This wine is next from the producer Marcus Sacáceres. This is a wine from Cariñena, Garnacha 2019 Vintage. Stay tuned. I'll tell you about this lovely expression of Garnacha from Northeast Spain. Stay tuned. Now, before I get started, please give a like and subscribe to the channel down below. I do appreciate it. Now, I, I like that this producer has reached out to the Cariñena. Here's a map right here. We're going to see Garnacha wines are king here in this region. And I think they're lovely expressions. And one where I think Garnacha uh, Grenache is something to be a point of difference, say, from new world to old world. And I do believe this is a fantastic expression, one that is really approachable, inexpensive, and a completely uh, delicious wine to be tasting. Let me show you the label up close. Again, Marques de Cáceres 2019 Vintage, 14.5% ABV. I'll tell you more about it. I think approachability comes not just in terms of the price point, which is generally in the mid-teens. It's a lovely expression. One where I think Garnacha, especially from Old World, from Spain, is just such a lovely experience. And, you know, the palate is dazzled by this particular variety. And I would say that the New World expressions to Old World just don't compare in many ways. They almost taste like different wines. Although in many ways, in many respects, I will say Grenache, Garnacha will be identifiable. It is one wine where I think it really holds through in terms of understanding what the wine is. It's like smelling Pinot Noir and knowing that it is Pinot Noir, if you're blind tasting it, of course. Now the soils are reddish brown limestone over rocky subsoils with carbonates, some alluvial and some slate. Vinification note is the following. The clusters are softly destemmed and crushed. Alcoholic fermentation of controlled temperatures starting off 10 degrees centigrade to 25 degrees centigrade maximum, which is approximately 50 degrees Fahrenheit to 77 degrees Fahrenheit in order to maintain freshness and juicy aromas. Now, it doesn't give a exact number in terms of, say, the maceration. Uh, so it's a, a very brief maceration, according to the notes that I have. Uh, malolactic fermentation is in stainless steel tanks, aged in bottle for seven months prior to release. So to me, this really represents a fantastic opportunity to you know enjoy this with many foods not just spanish foods for example enjoy this with pizza enjoy this with burgers enjoy it on its own it is a lovely expression now you're going to find that uh, garnacha or grenache definitely has a higher alcohol point but that's appropriate it is you know if you have a low abv it kind of is not i would say it's thrilling or exciting in my opinion now you're not going to really see a 13.5 percent abv on a garnacha or garnacha wine you're generally gonna have, it's a, a wine grape variety that loves its heat and doing so, it's going to you know have a little higher bricks content that is a sugar content upon picking. And so you're gonna pick that at a higher point and therefore it's gonna translate to a higher alcohol point. So I will always serve in a burgundy glass, I've got a natural wines because I think they're just, it's a way to fully smell and characterize your wine. These are elegant, beautiful, gorgeous wines, semi-vitreous in terms of colorization. A little darker than some Pinot Noir, but uh, definitely a vitreous wine. Cathedral stained glass windows, how I like to term this wine uh, uh, expression in terms of color. Uh, very nice, not quite a salmon colorization, uh, but uh, definitely a vitreous quality to this wine. Now, the nose is very seductive and alluring. Dried cherries, uh, sour cherry or tart cherry notes, as well as red rose petal and uh, bay leaf. Next is the palate characterization. So very nice notation of tart cherry notes, meeting pepper, black pepper, clove, bay leaf, crushed red candy, a very alluring, seductive wine. Again, one that I find to be very appealing. Nice uh, texture, beautiful acidity point to this where I think it's going to match and uh, you know food very, very nicely. So this is a very nice wine to pair with many foods and one where I think it's approachable on a weekly basis and one to enjoy frequently. It's absolutely delightful. This wine is 93 points out of 100 points. More information on the producer down below, you'll see all that they are producing. Now be sure to share this video with someone who's interested in Garnache, Garnacha wines, and especially from this fantastic region, Cariñena. Thank you for watching. I will see you very soon in the next video review. More information on the producer down below, questions and comments list there. Follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, and LinkedIn. I do appreciate it. Salud.